almost two hours of testimony that the findings presented here um, just continue to reinforce the fact, and I guess Mr. O'Rourke's fact as well, that the personal information of millions of veterans still remains at risk. And to, to, uh, to associate myself with your comment as well, I would like to encourage my colleagues to support my bill, H.R. 4370, that we talked about in here before. The bill is based on a Federal industry best practices that establishes an explicit plan of action to resolve VA's numerous IT security weaknesses. With that, Mr. Warren, phishing represented almost 70 percent of the total incidents reported to the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team in FY13, but the VA reported only one phishing incident throughout the entire year, and yet there were almost 1,600 malicious code incidences reported. That appears to be a striking imbalance. Given that the goal of phishing is to deliver malware to the recipient, is this where the high number of, malicious, of high volume of malicious codes are coming from? Uh, I, I can't speak to other organizations. Uh, I, I would, I will go back and confirm that number just, just to, to make sure that what is reported is correct. So I will, I will come back with the actual number for 2013. But there are two things that the VA is different with respect to the other organizations reported. We are the first department that turned on Einstein three. And Einstein 3 is the latest that Homeland Security has brought to the table, and it blocks most of those phishing and other malicious attempts out of the email stream before it even gets to us. So there is a lot of work that takes place outside. We also have very complex systems at our boundary as well, where we are picking those out and we are stopping them. Uh, we, we stop more than 80 percent of the emails that come to our boundary before they even get to a desktop. So there is a lot of things that we have put in pl place as part of our continuous monitoring, as part of our defense in depth that tries to stop those things from getting to us so the individual doesn't make that mistake of clicking on a link. Can you elaborate on a question that was asked earlier about moving forward on this issue of encryption on medical devices? The encryption on medical devices, it, it is a hard challenge for us, and it starts with how the FDA, how the FDA certifies medical devices. Um, and a lot of, I believe, new rulemaking took place in the last year, where prior to that rulemaking, most vendors believed that when their medical device was certified or licensed, no changes could be made to it. No encryption, no unpatching, nothing. And so we have had to actually move those devices into an isolation architecture. Uh, one of the things that the audit team has pointed out for us, we need to do better there, and there is a major effort this coming year to tighten it up. So we actually now work with uh, manufacturers. There is actually a uh, command center in Atlanta that HHS runs where we have our employees Im embedded with HHS and the Defense Health Service dealing with medical devices. How can you secure them? Because it is an area of concern for uh, the medical industry. And it's been pretty well, I think it's been pretty well documented today by uh, both the IG and the GAO representatives being here to a question that was asked earlier about this issue of foreign entities potentially having access to our domain controller. How long would you estimate, Mr. Warren, it will take to put the patches and the different types of security links into the system that will prohibit a foreign entity from being able to access the system? How long will it take? So every day I get a new list of things to patch. So uh, but but so how so long will, will it be based we will upon? We will never be patched. We will never be patched. As an example, on Tuesday, Microsoft released a patch for something that has been in existence for 20 years. So every day industry is finding new ways that things can be exploited. If we will never be patched, how will we ever secure and have a vulnerable system to protect our veterans' personal information? And how will we ever connect to a DOD computer system if ours on the VA side is so vulnerable that we would, prevent, that we would send a, have a tunnel of potential foreign entities right into the DOD system? So, so patching, ma'am, is one part of a complex But you just said we'll never be so, so patching is one piece. So patching is one piece of defending systems. I understand. But you are the expert. You yes. patch, you siphon, you do all these things. How long is it going to take to have the security of, not, of knowing that these domain controllers cannot be attacked and, and infiltrated by a foreign entity? I, I believe because that opens the door to will we ever connect with DOD? Yes, ma'am. I believe, based upon what the team has briefed me, 
on and the third party Mandiant that has come in and looked at our domain controllers. That has happened today and prior to today. Those domain controllers are secured and we continue to secure them and we continue to monitor them. So back to your comment of we will never be secure. What will we never be secure on? Our veterans information? If, if I could clarify, ma'am, sure. I said things would not always be patched because patching of vulnerabilities is one part of a spectrum of things that we need to do. So in your opinion today, okay. uh, you are you're really disagreeing with these two here. You are basically saying to you, you just said that the domain controllers are safe and they cannot be encrypted, they cannot be corrupted by a foreign entity? We, the report we have received and we brought in a third party to look at it and we will bring that report up to the committee and the staff is they are seeing nothing on the domain controllers that causes them to believe that they are compromised. So believe we have got that locked down. With respect to patching, with respect to information protection, there is a whole host of things that you do to try and protect the enterprise, not just technical stuff, but also how Are the veterans' the personal information in my district safe and secure today? 57,000 in the State of Indiana. Are they secure? Ma'am, my, my data is in there. I, I will take the action. You are not in my district. Are, are the 57,000 veterans in my district secure today? I believe today? it is, ma'am. I believe it is. I believe you, uh, it is. Thank you. I am sorry, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.